Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a complete guide on getting over it. I've done a few videos on certain parts like how to beat Devil's Chimney, how to beat the staircase jump, certain things like that, but today we're going to be doing a long, a bit longer video on literally every single part in getting over it. How to beat any part of the game. Like you can just skip through the video, scroll through the video to the part that you're stuck on. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be going through the entire game to make it a lot easier for you guys to beat it. So, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Alright, so before we start the video, I'm just going to go over a few like vocab words. Well, not vocab words, but just words that I'm going to say throughout the video. And I'm going to explain what each of them means. So, when I say pogo, this is what I mean by pogoing. It's when you launch yourself with your hammer. Um, or when I rotate like this and just launch myself in pretty much any way. Po pogoing is is when I grab on, I'm grabbing onto something and I launch myself by pulling up. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about when I say those and let's get into the video. So for the first part, the tree, you know, I don't really need to go in much detail about this game. Pretty much everyone's beat this part, but all you gotta do is kind of like position yourself right here, pogo, and then lift yourself over. You don't have to like pull yourself over. You can also position yourself you don't have to launch yourself over. You can position yourself on the branch and then pogo like this, up and then grab the other side. But for me, it's easier just to pull myself up. So then for this part, you just pull up um, and grab the branch up here. Here you can launch yourself all the way over and grab the paddle, but we're just gonna start from the beginning. This is pretty much the beginning part of the game. It's very rare that you go back all the way to the very beginning, unless you kind of like ride the snake or something. So this is usually where you're gonna end up when you fall really far. <laughs> so let's let's just get started. Um, yeah, for here, you pull yourself on the rock onto the rock. You can just grab up onto this launch. So see what I'm doing here a lot is pull pogoing, which is when I pull down, pull the mouse down like that, and it launches you super far. So, like, I hook up here, and then I just pull straight down, and I launch up super far. So, like that. If you're up here by the pipe, you can just pogo up a bit, grab this, and yeah, you can just pull pogo all the way up. On the barrel, you can either position yourself up on the barrel, and then pogo up to the next part, but what I like to do that's a lot easier and quicker is you just pogo, or pull pogo up like that. And then I just did it again there. You can also just slowly climb up to here. Um, here you just position yourself on the edge of the rock and then just launch yourself up. I kind of screwed up there, pretty disappointed. <laughs> so, uh, you're just gonna pogo, grab this, and then you can just grab up here, and then pogo yourself and grab this. Uh, for this part, to get up on the, the, the little red thing that's sticking out is super slippery. So what I like to do is I like to put myself up on here, and then pogo out like that. And then you kind of just try to slowly skate yourself over. This is Devil's Chimney, one of the harder parts of the game. It's, it's 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 extremely hard when you're first starting out in the game. You screwed up a lot, but I actually have a video about how to just an in-depth tutorial on how to do this. If you want to check that out, that's on my channel. But I'll probably leave it in the description. But anyways, let's just let's just I'm just gonna go over a quick way on how I do it instead of like more of an in-depth tutorial. Um, so I like to position myself either right next to the rock or on the rock, it doesn't really matter. And then you kind of pogo up and then just grab this lamp. Um, and then I slowly pull myself up the lamp, push myself up as high as I can, and then quickly switch over, like that. And now you'll just automatically stand on this lamp. I screwed it up a bit there, but it's pretty easy to get back. Once you've done Devil Chimney a few times, you, should, you can usually get on the first few tries every time. It doesn't end up being that hard in the end. Orange hell though, which will we get we will get to soon, is is it's, it's it's always hard no matter what. So then I pull myself up under this lamp. I can either pull myself up and position in here and grab up here, or I just pull pogo all the way up, and then launch yourself, and just grab up here. This is the vertical wall. A lot of people have trouble on this part. For me, it's not that hard. Um, you kind of just gotta know how to do it and get your mouse movement right. So um, the the main thing about this wall is. What I like to do is I have my hammer like outside so that it, there's no chance I'm gonna accidentally push off the wall because that's like the number one way that you screw this up. Um, I have it outside and then right when I need to rotate in is is when I grab it. So outside, boom. And this comes with uh, practice again because a lot of times when you're first starting out, you don't know kind of when to, but yeah, I can just let myself fall and then I'll just bring my hammer in when I need to grab onto something. 
this can just take you a few tries sometimes. You kind of just have to, you know, work it out. My cat was just meowing at my door for a while, so he's in my room now. Hi. My cat was just meowing at my door for a while, so she's in my room now. Hi. Oh, I just fell down. <laughs> that was an accident. Uh, let me just get back up here real quick. Okay, so now once you're up here, uh, there's multiple different ways you can do it. You can either kind of just pull pogo yourself all the way up to there. That's probably the hardest way, though. Um, the easiest way, in my opinion, is here. I'm going to push myself off a bit here. Um, when you're starting out, you can either, you can, like, pogo up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn it. So once you're up here, there's pretty much three ways you can do it. You can either just have your hammer down here and then pull Pogo all the way up to the ladder, um, which is probably the hardest way, but it's definitely the quickest in my opinion. And the other way is you can Pogo up and then land up here and just like scoot yourself. This is probably the safest way. You kind of just scoot yourself slowly over to the edge. This is what I used to do when I first played the game and then kind of reach over here and grab this. The other way you can do it is um, you, you push off of that and then grab that. But yeah, once you're on here, you're pretty much safe. There's not really any way you're going to fall. Kind of shimmy yourself across it. And then once you're over here, you want to get your hammer kind of towards the edge and position yourself, like, safely. And then just slowly scoot your hammer out of there. So there's two ways to do this part. There's the normal way, which... Alright, so once you're here, um, there is a shortcut that you can take this stair uh, to get up to the staircase right away. Which is you basically just hook yourself on here and then you... Pull Pogo all the way up, but I'm not going to be doing that today because that's more of an advanced kind of thing um, that a lot of beginners, the people who'd be watching this video, wouldn't really use. So um, we're just going to go the normal way. Now this drop can drop you all the way to like Devil's Chimney or even all the way down, so be careful of that. Um, but yeah, you go off that. So when you're falling down, the number one thing you have to pay attention to is just your nerves. I talked about this in my strategy video which i uploaded yesterday if you want to check it out um but you, you just got to be when you're falling don't freak out and, like swing your hammer randomly you just got to be calm about it and make sure don't rage until you've finished the fall is what i'm saying like make sure you just focus on catching yourself the main thing that you, you don't really fall down that part unless you you're freaking out and you're shaking and you're just just take it slowly and carefully when you're around the hole but Usually you should be fine. So with this part, it can be kind of annoying, but you hook onto the umbrella, hook onto that, and then grab onto the rake. There's two ways you can do this. You can keep just like flying up to the um, slide, which is what I'm about to do. Or you can position yourself onto the top of the rake. Here, I'll just do that. On top of the rake, and then you can just grab onto here, which is probably the safest way, but I like to just keep going. It's, it's more dangerous, but you know, it's quicker. So once you're up here, you're trying to get over to the- you're not trying to go up this slide anymore, you're trying to get over to the boxes to the right. So this is a pretty hard to jump to mess up, you basically just pogo over and grab it. One- ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well I couldn't really explain that because it kind of fell, but you don't want to go to the metal thing on the right even though that's the only thing you can see when you're on top. Uh, you want to get to these boxes that are below the metal thing, which is pretty easy. You kind of just- hang off the edge there and then let go and quickly rotate and grab these boxes it might take you a couple tries but it's all right here's another really hard jump that a lot of people have trouble with um if you know how to do it it's not that hard uh this is the staircase jump i actually have another completely like video by itself about this because it's just that hard for a lot of people but 
basically all you want to do is you want to put your hammer right here by the edge and then kind of just move it very slightly to have yourself like angling out like this in this position and then you're going to pogo out into the right which means you're going to pull down into the left with your mouse so and then you're going to want to quickly grab onto the stairs on the right and then what a lot of people don't know is you have to use the wall you don't have to but it's a lot easier if you use the wall to your left to keep yourself like shimming up and keep yourself from falling so i'll show you guys that here uh you want to launch out grab the stairs and then just keep pushing yourself off the wall like that until you're at the top so that might sound a little bit weird but it, yeah that's pretty much it uh and then once you're here you want to you don't have to position yourself on the edge of the chair. It doesn't really matter. Some people think you have to, but you basically just have to get your hammer on the edge of the chair and then angle yourself towards the camera. And then you're going to pogo or pull down to the right to pogo up into the left and grab onto the camera. And then you're going to want to launch yourself or just like it's easier to just take it slowly. So don't do there what I did unless you want to and just position yourself onto the camera. Once you're on the camera, you're just going to pogo over to this couch and then you can either get on the couch and pogo up to the next thing or you can pull pogo up to the next thing which is the chair you can same with the chair you can position yourself on top of it and then pogo which is a lot safer but if you're going quicker you can just pull pogo up here then once you're up here you just climb the stairs it's not that hard um and you want to get yourself kind of on this toilet or below it doesn't really matter but you're trying to get up to the left to the top left um so you're gonna just pogo up and grab this thing and kind of just launch yourself up. It's not that hard, but here comes Orange Hell, which is, my opinion, the hardest part in the game because it has the most con uh, consequence. There's really hard jumps in the game, like Anvil Jump and Hat Jump, which we'll get to pretty soon after Orange Hell. But Orange Hell is definitely the hardest, simply because when you fall, you fall far. Whereas Snow Hat and Anvil are probably harder than Orange Hell, except you don't fall at all. You can just do it over and over again. So with Orange Hell, you basically want to get yourself on the kind of edge of the chair not to the point where you're angled though you don't want to be angled um you can also have you know never mind uh and then you're gonna kind of pogo and just quickly grab this rock you gotta be very careful here in orange hell but don't freak out don't let your, the, your nerves get the best of you because you will screw up if you're like super shaky and stuff you want your dpi kind of high for orange hell but you also want to pull your mouse very slow because on the last part um if your sensitivity is high it's a lot easier because you need a lot of mousepad space. You're kind of screwed if you have to lift up your mouse. So if you have a big mouse pad, that's great. If not, um, then turn up your sensitivity because I don't, so I just have to turn up my sensitivity. Uh, then for here, you're kind of just going to slowly pull yourself up. You got to be very careful about this. It's very slippery. And then put yourself up on the top here. You, you want to get as high as up to the top as you possibly can. Now, this is the hardest part about Orange Hell. Even now, and I've beat this game 30 times, um even now i screw up this jump so so often like it, it's it's hard um one way you can do it is you can pogo off of this and then grab up to the ledge in the very top right but that never really seems to work for me this is why orange hell is so much is so much harder than every other part for me because i still kind of use the beginner strat to do it um i don't really know any other way <laughs> um so you're gonna position yourself on this edge up here and you got to be extremely slow about this. You're going to reach as high as you can. And you just got to be super slow because this rock is so slippery. I don't think we're going to make it this time. It looks like my hammer's just going to slip. Oh, no, we actually made it. So then you're going to want to position yourself up on the top of the rock. Once you're here, you're pretty much good. Like, uh, unless you screw up terribly, you're pretty much done with orange hell, which is great. You can still screw up on the tower that's about to come. But the great thing about Orange Hell is that once you're past it, once you got past the tower, which it's kind of hard to screw up on the tower, it's not that bad. Uh, it's basically a checkpoint. It's very rare that you will fall all the way back to Orange Hell or below. So once you're past that part of the game, unless you like ride the snake or something, it's very rare that you're pretty much done with the first half of the game most of the time. So then here, you're just going to want to lift yourself up and grab up here. It's pretty simple. All right, now this is the last tower. This is right before the checkpoint. You got to be very careful here because you can fall all the way down to Orange Hell, but it's it's not that hard. Uh, you want to position yourself as far as you can to the wall, close to the wall, and then pogo up and just grab this tiger. Uh, once you're here, position yourself here and just pogo up, grab the thumb. Now there's a jump scare that's going to happen. Um, <laughs> so 
you know what? I'm not even going to mention it. I'm not even going to mention it. It's just, just wait. You'll see. Uh, you're going to want to position yourself onto the thumb, kind of get your body like on top of the thumb, and then pogo off the thumb part, not the arm part. And it might look like you're about to pogo into the wall, but you're not. You're fine. Don't worry. Yeah, you just pogo up. Then grab this, and then... Yeah, my effects volume is too low to hear it, but the bats scream extremely loudly, <laughs> and it's it scares it scared me so bad the first time. But once you're here, you basically just want to position yourself kind of on this ledge. Um, we're almost at the checkpoint, so just sigh in relief. <laughs> we're not quite there yet, though, so still be careful. Uh, you're gonna pogo up and grab this kind of ledge thing that's on the tower. Once you're here. What I like to do is pogo up over it. Um, if you get, you can you can also kind of shim yourself up slowly, maybe grab the top of this. But that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. And then you're basically done. You you are pretty much done with orange hell. If you got past all that, you're it's very unlikely that you're gonna go all the way back. On my first run, I did actually ride the snake on my first run, which was so frustrating. But if you don't ride the snake or you don't have a really bad unlucky fall then you're pretty much done with that part of the game, which is great. Now, this is the hat jump. One of the hardest jumps in the game. Um, this is actually way harder than the anvil jump for me. The anvil jump's not really that hard if you just know how to move your mouse. It's all about moving your mouse. It's less about positioning and less about how you shoot your hammer. It's about when how you're moving your mouse during the pogo. For, so for this, you need to pull get yourself up on the, in this position like I am right now but then you need to pull straight down straight down you can turn your dpi a bit down for this if you have to you can't for the anvil jump because you need a lot of power for the anvil jump but for this jump it's less about power and more about the actual movement so turn your dpi a bit down if you have to but just don't just it's got to be straight down like just a sudden straight and then it's probably gonna take you a few tries the hat really annoys you um it's very likely that the hat will be the cause of you falling off, but as soon now that hat's gone, so we're pretty much good. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put my hammer here, pull straight, straight down. It's gotta be straight down, and you're probably gonna screw that up a lot of times before you get it, but it's not too bad once you've done it a couple times. Now the anvil jump. A lot of people think this is the hardest jump in the game, and even Bennett Foddy himself, the creator of this game, uh, sees it as the hardest jump in the game. For me, um, it's definitely not the hardest. Uh, it's definitely an extremely hard jump, but if you know how to move your mouse when you're doing it, uh, yeah, it still takes a lot of tries, but it's a lot easier. So with this jump, you're going to get yourself in this position, this hammer, uh, just right on the edge of the anvil and position your hammer like this. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to focus more on striking downwards. So when you're moving your mouse, since you are going up into the right, a lot of people just pull down into the left, which is never going to work. You're not going to go high enough. So yeah, you want to go a tiny bit to the left when you're pulling down. But mostly you want to focus on striking your mouse like almost straight down and a little bit to the left when you're doing it like that. And then if you do that, you can pretty much get it almost every time, which is kind of insane because uh, it's an extremely hard jump, but you just got to focus on pulling your mouse down more than left. You want to have it more down because then you will launch up f higher. So once you're here, you just got to climb up here. You're not quite safe yet. Um, but then you're going to position yourself up here, pogo up and grab this. This is the snowballs. Uh, they're not that hard. Um, if you do fall, it's kind of devastating. You have to do anvil jump again and possibly hat jump again, but it's not, you, you, when you're doing the snowballs, you can't really fall all the way down to orange hell. You're pretty much good. But yeah, so you want to get yourself on the edge and just pogo outwards like that and grab, ooh, I screwed it up there. But you want to focus on more going to the left than going up and kind of grab this and position yourself up here. Now for this, you, you want to swing. So you like swing yourself like that and just, you got to trust it. You can't see the snowman but you just gotta trust that it's there and be ready to grab it. Um, then for this part, you just kinda pogo out. This part, I think you can swing if you want to, but it's a lot safer just to pogo out up to here. And then, yeah, you can pretty much just pogo for all of them. Um, and pogo out to the last one. You just gotta be very careful there because you can fall really hard, far. Now, this is the snake. It says do not ride the snake. It's a bit, a little bit tempting because it says do not, but I rode the snake on my first run. It brings you all the way back to the very beginning of the game, like by the tree. Like, 
And if you fall right under the snake, that drop right there where I'm pointing my hammer, um, that brings you all the way back to orange hell. So that's what I was talking about when I'm saying it's very rare that you'll fall back to orange hell unless you're at this point of the game and you go there to the left. So you just got to be very careful here. Um, and the bucket jump's really easy. A lot of people think you have to swing a lot. You don't, you barely even have to swing at all. You want to try to get a grip of the bucket in the middle and see how I'm not swinging at all. You kind of just pull and you just pull straight down. Literally like straight down and then you want to grab this ledge over here. You don't even need to swing that much as you saw there. Uh, then you're going to put yourself on the edge right here and you pretty much just want to strike down to the left and launch yourself over to this mountain. Um, it, you can screw it up a, five time, uh, a few times. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a hard jump, but it's fine. You're usually not going to fall that far unless you... The thing about the snake is you're not really going to fall on the snake unless you have your hammer out this way. So if you're falling towards the snake, quickly rotate you. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> rotate your hammer to the right so that you don't accidentally grab onto it. Because once you grabbed onto it, you're screwed. You can't get off. It's once you're gripped onto it, you're going to the bottom no matter what. So one trick of this, uh, if the bucket's swinging a lot, it's not really swinging that much. I can still grab it right now, but um, one trick is you can actually. Um, I didn't mean to do that. So yeah, now it's swinging a lot. One trick, if you if it's swinging too much to the point where you just can't grab it. You can just click quit and then continue again and you'll be right back where you were and the bucket will be still so again pogo up try to grab kind of towards okay i'm back up here again just you want to kind of pogo up there it can take a few tries but just get yourself up to the frost mountain the frost mountain this is the frost mountain it's very rare that you're gonna fall super far uh you're pretty much gonna fall back to the bottom of the frost mountain maybe down to the bucket um, but that's about it. It's not that awful of a fall. The problem with Frost Mountain is it just takes a long time. It's probably harder than Orange Hell, except that um, it just takes a long time. So for this first part, I kind of just kind of swing and try to get myself up the mountain. The first part's kind of RNG. You can take it really slowly, but the problem with the first part is there's a lot of parts where you can't even reach. So for me, it's easiest just to kind of try to rely on RNG. It's not RNG. I mean, it's certain cracks in the mountain but since you guys don't really have them memorized since it's your first time playing the game or maybe it's not um kind of just gotta rely a bit on rng here and then you once you're up to here this is when you want to start taking it slowly i'm going to position myself here and then there's certain ice cracks so essentially there's like little glitchy spots in the mountain there it's always the same spot every time so if you can remember the spots that's great but there's always little glitchy spots in the mountain so you kind of just want to feel around for them this one is right here but when it goes like your hammer goes like into the mountain that means it's a working spot so what when you get one of these spots you want to position yourself inside of it um you kind of just feel around for the next one this one's right here and again, just slowly lift yourself up and put yourself inside of it. For this part, you can't really feel this spot this much, but you basically want to reach up as high as you can, and that's the spot. Um, your hammer doesn't go that much into the mountain, so it kind of tricks you, but it is a spot. Like, you can rely on it. It's fine. Um, and then this is the last little pull. It's also the most frustrating one because you're not supposed to put yourself into this one. Uh, you kind of just slowly pull up. And then instead of putting yourself in it, you want to pogo up and grab up here. The Frost Mountain can take a lot, but after you do it a few times, it gets a lot easier. It's still a lot of just kind of, for, again, for that first half, it can feel like RNG, even though it's really not because the crack's in the same spot every time. But I haven't memorized the first half, uh, probably never will, but I definitely have memorized the second half. So, this is pretty much the last part of the game. Once you've gotten here, it's... Literally, there's like a one, a 0.5% chance that you'll fall really far. Um, you're pretty much good here. Even if you fall down here, you're just going to kind of land on the shopping cart, and you're pretty much fine. Just got to lift yourself up, back up. And what you want to do here is you want to grab the first satellite dish, or whatever that's called. Position yourself onto it, and then you can, even though there's nothing actually there, you can actually pogo right there. Um, well, not right there, a little bit more to the right, but... You can kind of pogo a little bit off of where it looks like you can because the actual spot where it is is a little bit off but that's probably the hardest jump left there's probably one more on the tower but it's not that hard 
you kind of just got to do it a few times. It's going to take you a few tries, but don't be, don't get pissed off because you're kind of like right at the end of the game. So you definitely got to be careful when you fall. Don't freak out and like swing your hammer randomly. But then you're going to grab up here and put yourself right there. After that, you see this little red light. In fact, I can move myself a little closer in here just to be safe. Yeah, that's better. So you're going to want to grip onto this red light and just kind of swing and pull yourself up. That's probably the hardest one, the hardest little jump on the tower. But after a few tries, you're pretty much fine. I just took that a little bit fast because I've already done it. Um, but yeah, grab onto here. Pull yourself up and then grab this. Uh, once you're here, you're pretty much done with the game. Like, there's not really any more hard parts. You just want to carefully position yourself onto here. And then grab this and carefully position yourself onto here. Once you're here, you're pretty much done with the game. If you, if you know how to do the rest, you're done with the game. You push yourself up and that's when you get your gravity. You're going to hit some asteroids. Um, but just kind of, you, you just, you want to keep going up. A lot of people probably know this about the game. Everyone's pretty much just seen the end of the game by now, even if you haven't completed it, but you're basically just going to be floating. As long as you don't push yourself down off the asteroids, you're fine. Like, uh, you're just going to want to pull yourself and like, or push yourself up. If you're at the bottom of it, kind of just wait until you... Maybe push yourself over to the right a bit. But as, as long as you're not pushing yourself downward, then you'll be fine. Like, it looks like I'm floating a bit down here, but I'm going to hit asteroid, yeah. And then just pogo up. Here's another one. And yeah, we're pretty much done with the game now. Yep, that's it. So once you get these lights, it's going to roll through the credits and play a pretty sexy song. But I'm just going to skip that part because, um, yeah. I don't, because I don't need to showcase it. So yeah, that was my 37th win. 30 minutes. Normally I get it a lot quicker than that, like half that time, like 15 minutes. But since I was taking a bit slower for the tutorial, I got 30 minutes, which is fine. Um, that's my 37th win. But yeah, that's it. That's the end of the game. So if you're still here, <laughs> I voice cracked a little bit there. My bad. If you're still here watching the video, props to you. Um, I'm guessing most people in this video are just going to skip kind of to the part that they need help with or the part that they're stuck on. But if you actually just watch this video, then you're, you're kind of weird, <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, but yeah, hope, hope this helped. Hope you beat the game. Have, I hope you have fun and goodbye.